For our supine pelvic reset, we're gonna need a yoga block and some floor space to begin on our back with our knees bent and feet flat. So I'm gonna take the yoga block and I'm gonna put it the narrow side between my knees. And I want my hips, knees, and feet to be lined up. And I want my big toe to be inside of my heel. So it might be helpful to look down, get your foot position set, squeeze the block between the knees, and then come back to here. And then we can start from this position. So what we're looking to do here is stabilize the pelvis with the adductors and with the low abs, those deep abdominals, transverse abdominis, internal oblique, and really get the connection through the exhale of the breath to help us create that stability. So we're gonna practice an inhale, exhale breath here with our hands on our ribs. You can take your hands, find where your ribs meet, and just lay your hands onto the side. And then you can adjust your elbows around a little bit to make sure the shoulders are comfortable. And then from here, we're going to feel for our hands to expand laterally and up as we take a breath in. And we're going to feel them contract down, compress together, and we'll feel our low abs really come on as we get to the end of our exhale. And we're going to use either a soft sigh or kind of blowing through a, an imaginary straw to help us get all of our air out of our lungs here. So we're going to take a full inhale into those ribs, exhale all the way, blowing all that air out all the way to the end, feel those low abs contract. You're going to hold that contraction and then try to breathe into it. Breathing in, maintaining that tension. Exhale again, stay connected to that tension and relax. So that's the type of engagement that we're looking for. And then we're gonna add some stuff with the block and then with some pressure down to the floor. So the first thing, once we've got our breathing and bracing figured out is to set our foot pressure. And we want to place uh, our, the ball of the foot down and feel the contact between the big toe knuckle and the fourth and fifth toe knuckle and then the heel. From here, we're just gonna drive straight into the floor and we're just gonna feel a lot of this stuff on the back of the legs, through the hamstrings, through the calves, all of that's gonna turn on a bit. And we're looking for that engagement. We want that to happen. So we're gonna hold that tension by pushing the pressure into the floor with our feet. And then the last piece will be squeezing the block together. So we have our bracing, then we have our foot pressure down, and then we have the squeeze of the block between the knees. Once we hit those three setup points, then we're gonna hold that per, uh, for 20 seconds, fit, ranging from 15 to 20 seconds, at a pretty high level of tension, the highest level of tension that you can hold and still breathe at the same time. So we're gonna do a practice set here, just setting everything up. So first with our breath, full inhale, exhale all the way, feel those low abs come on, hold that tension, and then brace so that that tension stays, drive the feet down into the floor, Feel the big toe, feel the fourth and fifth toe, feel the heel, create more pressure down and squeeze that block together and hold 20 seconds. <sighs> Connect to that breath every time. On the exhale, feel those low abs stay engaged. Feel those flat of the back stays against the floor. <sighs> Trying to maintain that brace, maintain that squeeze between the knees. Maintain the foot pressure down and relax. Okay, so we want to build our ability to hold a pretty high level of contraction for uh, up to 30 seconds. Um, and really, this is just an awareness building type of exercise so that our bracing is better more naturally. We're bringing a lot of these tissues online as far as getting the contraction and the engagement simultaneously. That's just going to help with our overall pelvic stability and function.